Hey, what is going on guys? So today I have another finished build to share with you. This is of course the entry grade RX-78s2 Gundam. This is another one that I've had finished for a while. It's just kind of been sitting around here on the side of my desk waiting for it to be revealed. And one of the reasons was because I needed to finish the base. If you guys didn't know, this was uh, once again a part of a set that I was working on. I wanted to make a set of the four different RX-78-2 144 scale kits that came out uh, last year, basically last year, for the 40th anniversary of Gunpla. So I wanted to make a special base for them all to go on. So it was one of those cases again where I had the kit finished and I was just putting off, putting off, putting off, finishing the base. But I finally finished the base. So I'll show you guys that and I'll show you guys the full set here in just a minute. I just wanted to show you the uh, entry grade RX-782 here first that I finished. And if you are unfamiliar with this color scheme, this is the full armor color scheme, but in the alternate uh, color, the blue version of the full armor Gundam color scheme, obviously just without all the full armor equipment on there. So uh, the full armor Gundam, uh, minus all the full armor equipment is just basically the normal Gundam for the most part, it's just with uh, different colors. And the normal one, of course, would be like the green and orange. Uh, this alternate color version is blue and orange. There is a Master Grade P Bandai kit of this in this color uh, that you guys can get your hands on, which I would still love to get my hands on a Master Grade uh, full armor Gundam. I've still yet to build one because they very often very hard to find. Bandai doesn't reprint them all that often and they're very sought after. So eventually I'll, I'm sure I'll get my hands on one. But uh, for the meantime, here is my blue RX-782 Gundam and I'm really happy with how the blue came out. At first it was looking very bright and it's still pretty bright uh, royal blue, but I think it's, it's, I mean, I was going for the colors that it is officially and if you look at like the official artwork for the Gundam I mean, or like the Master Grade version for example it's pretty bright blue and bright, and bright orange so uh, I think the colors came out really nice of course the entry grade kit is a really nice kit it didn't really take a whole lot to improve on the kit of course I removed the seam lines on the legs and that's easy enough I did have to mask that on the legs as well too because once you remove the seam lines basically the entire uh, lower half of the leg is like one big part so in order to make the color separation between the white and the blue parts there I had to um, just mask that and that was simple enough. Uh, other modifications included just uh, basically just adding a few little detail parts up on the shoulders the little like uh, Verka style bars there on the inside of the shoulder armor. Those are just added little kurubukiya parts also on the opposite side the outside of the shoulders uh, the little vent in there that's also added that of course is not included in the stock kit. I uh, just had to again just use Kurbukia option vent parts and just basically they were almost able to fit in just right as they were. Just had to file down the sides of those a little bit just to get them to squeeze right into that space there. Uh, but then those fit in really nicely I think add a nice little bit of detail in there and then just a uh, couple of little Kurbukia detail parts on the arm uh, to cover up the holes on the sides of the forearm. And then on the backpack, a couple of ones there, just to add a little bit more detail onto the backpack there, kind of like vent little style uh, option parts there on those. And that's pretty much it as far as like any modifications or anything. Of course, I had to sharpen up the V-fan and just do little minor things like that. But uh, other than that, just uh, paint up. Uh, also in the shield, uh, drilled out the holes in the shield and added Kotobuki little option parts. Actually, those are wave option parts, I should say. Little bolt option parts uh, added into the little holes on the front of the shield. Those ones as well, too. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, other than that, it's all just the regular kit. Uh, all just painted up and decaled up. The decals, mostly Q decals, except for like the EFSF marking decals. Those are just from different Bandai sets. Or whatever. Um, most of the rest of them are uh, high Q decals in white and orange. Those also helped. Uh, the white looks really nice against the blue, and the their the decals are white and orange. So of course they add more orange accents to where the kit already has orange as the accent color. So the white and orange decals uh, fit very nicely. And I find myself using the white and orange decals are kind of like the the most common colors that kind of just go with everything like the always the orange accent on the decals always look, looks really nice so i find my using the i find myself using those color decals uh, quite often uh, there are also on the white parts any there's not very many of them but there's a couple of decals on the white parts and on the white parts of course i couldn't use white decals i just used like the opposite version of those they're uh, gray and orange instead of white and orange uh, so I just use the inverted ones basically uh, like the cameras for the head and the eyes are just painted in gold and like the Vulcans are all in just a lot of little other little details bits are painted in like um, uh, was that uh, metallic gray uh, just Tamiya paint so just uh, 
There's a couple of different little gray colors that are just hand painted in there for just painting in a couple little uh, little accent parts here and there. But that's basically all there is here to the entry grade Gundam. It's a cool kit, and you guys will actually see me working on some more entry grade kits, not just one. Uh, I've got a, a number of video series planned that you guys will be seeing me working on some more entry grade kits here in the very near future, sort of like a beginner Gumpla. Uh, tip videos recently I got the Hobby Japan book if you guys remember uh, about that so I wanted to make some video versions of the what was covered in uh, those in that book all right so anyway guys here is the base I ended up making for this uh, of course just a as usual a nice wood block base uh, once again just repurposed of something from Daiso which I think is just like a little wood tray for keeping little stuff in or whatever uh, I just sanded it all down on the sides to get it looking all nice and fresh and clean uh, and then just painted this on here once again. This is um, this is just some Japanese kanji here, obviously, and it means uh, 40th anniversary. And so what I did was just uh, again just type it out in like a word document, print it out, and then just make a mask uh, with masking tape. Mask that on there. Sprayed some black and some gold over the top of that, so you got this kind of nice gold shine to that. So it looks pretty cool when it hits the light like that it looks nice and it's not super like obvious or anything I mean once you have the kits on there that's the thing too like with the shape of this base it was kind of tricky to find just the right base for this because I needed one that was a good size to put four kits on so I need to have like the four HG kits all uh, lined up in a line on top of this base here um, I was fortunate to find this base which is like just the perfect size and shape for that so it worked out really well and I went over in my head a few different ideas of what I wanted to do for uh, putting the 40th anniversary on the base I was thinking maybe to put it on the front or on the top or or the one to do it gold or white or paint the whole thing white and uh, do the text in gold or black or something I don't know uh, so I just ended up doing this and I think it's simple it works really well and it's not like super obvious when you have the kits on there it just makes it for a nice little kind of accent once the kits are on so let me go ahead and put the kits on there and then I'll show you guys how the final product looks all right so here is the full set guys the 40th anniversary of Gunpla we've got the origin Gundam there in real type colors we got the G40 and G3 colors the beyond global in Shara's colors and now the entry grade in the full armor alternate colors so there is the full set, and they're not uh, attached to the base, they're not pinned to the base or anything, so the order of them can be switched around or anything, uh, however you might like. Just amongst this set, the Origin Gundam is my personal favorite, so I like having that one right up in the front, uh, but the rest of them, I, I mean, I like them all for different reasons as well, too. Uh, the G40, probably my least favorite in terms of the design, uh, but I really like how that one came out painted. I think the colors uh, for that one came out really nice on that one, and kind of the same thing for the Beyond Global as well, too. Uh, didn't really like some aspects of the Beyond Global's design, uh, like the knees, for example, and like the face. Uh, but I was able to change the knees to get rid of the detail that I didn't like about them. And uh, just the pose for that one being a little bit different, uh, I thought was kind of interesting as well too. Or just, if you if you notice, the pose is slightly different on that one. And I thought that was fitting with it being a, a Xeon type or the Shars version. Uh, actually, the angle of the arm are slightly different, and the hand pose, obviously, instead of the fist, it's got the open hand there. So it's a small thing, but it's just something that I thought would kind of help also kind of accentuate the fact that it's a, it's a, not an EFSF Gundam version of the Gundam anyway. Uh, but one thing that I do really like about the Beyond Global is I do really like the arms, shoulders, and uh, the actually the waist section is quite nice as well too, and especially the chest. So like the entire upper body kind of minus the face, uh, or like from the thighs up is, is all nice. I do like that. And the backpack of the Beyond Global as well too, I think looks pretty good. Uh, and then the entry grade is great, just a little bit plain in its design. Obviously it doesn't really have a ton of detail uh, with it being the entry grade, uh, you know, it looks fine. It looks like a really nice representation of the Arc 72. It's just not really uh, all that flashy or interesting compared to uh, some of the other ones and uh, most especially the Origin Gundam, which again is definitely my favorite amongst them. So it's got the most detail, I think uh, a good, really good amount of detail. Uh, also the most weapons, I've got all the weapons and everything on there, uh, which is also just kind of adds to look. I like that also the inverted shield is very cool. So it's a very unique and different design. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. And I could definitely see myself getting another HD The Origin Gundam and painting that kit again sometime in the future. I would really enjoy that. 
Well, and like I said, I will be working on another uh, one or two or three entry grade Gundams as well too. So you guys will see me working on those. I said like the Beyond Global and the G40, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another uh, one of those. The Beyond Global maybe, and just use it for a kit bash, maybe swap out some parts on that, like the head and the legs and turn it into like a kit bash custom or something. Uh, possibly doing that. The G40 though, I mean, it was cool. It was a cool build and very unique. It certainly got that novelty to it, but not necessarily a design that I like enough that I would want to get another one. I mean, I enjoyed working on it once, and that was kind of enough for me. There's plenty of other things that I would find a lot more enjoyable to work on again uh, in the future. But there you go, guys. That is my Gumpla 40th Anniversary special set of alternate color versions of the RX-7H2 and 144 scale all kits that came out around the year 2020. I think it was the G40 came out in the end of 2019, if I remember correctly. So that one's kind of uh, not exactly in 2020. But anyway, they all came out right around the same time, right around the 40th anniversary of, of Gun Plus. So uh, I thought uh, this was something that I wanted to do, and I think it came out looking pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Which kit is your guys' favorite? Uh, let me know which kit you guys like the most if you've built them all uh, and you like one over the other one. Uh, also, just uh, aside from just which personal kit is your favorite, uh, which one of my builds is your favorite, which one do you like the most uh, out of all these the different color schemes and things that I use for them. So, uh, as always guys, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts, I really appreciate you guys leaving your comments down below and all your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, and all of that as well too. Of course, if you guys want to check out any of these kits, you can check them out at USA Gundam Store. The link, as always, will be down in the video description down below, as well as my coupon code there for you guys to use. So, check that out and uh, find some cool stuff like these particular kits or anything else there on the site you might be interested in. Until next time, guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.